Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to your fifth PSD to responsive website tutorial and in this video we're going to make the rest of the HTML content. Alright then guys, so this is where we left off last time. You can see we've already done the HTML outline, the head and a bit of the body. That's the header at the top, all this section and then the banner. So what we're going to do in this lesson is carry on and do the rest of the content down here and hopefully try and finish everything else. So to speed things along, what I've done is pre-written all the code. So I'm going to start copy and pasting over chunks to the left. And I'm just going to talk you through it rather than you watch me write out everything. So the first thing I want to do is copy over. In fact, what I'll do, I'll write this bit. It's called a, a main tag. This is a HTML5 tag, and I'm going to give this a class of wrapper. And this just means it's the main content of the website, basically. Okay. So within that, what I'm going to do is copy and paste over this first section. So I'll talk you through this in a second. I'll make it full screen for now. So you can see here, we've got that wrapper, and then within that, we've got a section uh, tag, and that is a HTML5 element which basically just means there's a distinct section within this and I've given it an ID of selling points that's these things right here okay because I imagine they're gonna be the selling points of the business or the website so you've got four of those and each one there's an image there's a title and there's a little blurb as well so what I've done is I've laid these out within a UL and uh, given each one of these icons and uh, text kind of pairs a list item so each one of those is a list item then you've got the image at the top you can see it's in the images folder then icon one then icon two three four etc then we've got the title you can see is this thing right here palentesque and then we've got the p tag right there which is this little bit underneath so i've done that for each one of these right here um, i've used the same text there's no need in me changing the text to match up exactly because we're concentrating on the design not the content itself so that's that section done uh, the next thing we'd need to do is this section right here and don't worry about this line We're going to control that via CSS later So the next section is our latest works and I've already written the code for that as well So let's copy and paste it over again. Just grab that I'm gonna paste it in right here So okay, so we've got a title our latest works then we've got these three thumbnails and uh, a little bit about it, we've got the title, then some tags and a P under each one again. So again, I've laid this out in a UL and some LI. So each one of these bits here represents an LI tag, okay? So if I make this full screen again, you can see the section again, because it's a distinct section on our website. It's got an idea of latest work. Then it's got a H2 saying our latest work, which is this thing right here. Then we've got an LI tag, well, we've got three LI tags within the UL and each one of them has the image which is one of these things at the top then it has a h3 which is this thing then it has a p with a class of tags right there and that's going to be these they're very faint so you might not be able to see them but if I zoom in a little bit you're going to be able to see those there you can see business card graphics so they're the tags and uh, I've put them in there like that so we can style them differently using this class then we've got another p tag which is going to represent this little bit of blurb underneath as well so we have got three of those for one two and then the third one over there let's zoom back out here all right and uh, the next section we want to do is this quote right here at the bottom so ideally what we'd use is a block quote because that's a ready-made html tag for this kind of thing so oh and by the way you can see right here, this main has a class of wrapper just to keep everything in a central column. I forgot to mention that. So back to the next section, which is this block quote or this quote section right here. What I'm going to do is pop that outside the main tag, right? Because it's no longer really any main content. This is really the main content here on the page. So what I'm going to do now is copy over this quote code I've done. And you can see it's just a div tag with an ID of quote. Then within that, we've got a block quote like that. Okay. And the reason I've done an extra div here is so that we can style this background right here. And then this block quote, we can style a little bit differently in the center if we need to. Okay. So after that, we have got this footer. So I'll copy over the footer that I've done. We're going to use the footer tag, which is a HTML5 element, just more semantic. And uh, I'll make this full width so you can see it properly. So you can see we've got the footer tag there. Then within the footer, we've got this div with a class of wrapper again to keep everything central. Because if we look at the footer right here, you can still see that it has a central column. It doesn't go right to the sides. It's still within this central column right here. So that's why we're using the wrapper. 
then if you look we've got these four sections right here okay so what I've done to represent these sections is a UL for each one so that's a UL this is a UL this is a UL and this is a UL and then the sections within those ULs, you see like this bit, this bit, this bit, this bit, or this, 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 or this, 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 they're represented by LI tags. Okay, so in the first LI tag, I've got a H4 because they're styled differently. These are like mini titles. You can see there, let me zoom in. See at the top, they have these little titles, get in touch, Twitter, popular posts, and about us. So they are the H4 tags at the first LI. Okay, then underneath that, I've just... Uh, copied out all this text and then the address in each different LI tag as well, each different line of the address. Then the second UL, you can see I've got the H4 popular posts. Um, sorry, the second UL is this one here, Twitter. Okay, and then what I've done is given each LI tag, one of these, a class of TW, which stands for tweet or Twitter, or whatever you want to call it. And uh, the reason I've given it that class is so that we can style it up like this and give it that icon of the bird on the left. So I've just copied and pasted the tweets in those LI tags. Then the next one is a H4 again for popular posts. Then I've just pop, um, made three of the same one. I think it's the top one here and uh, duplicated it like that in different LI tags. And um, what I've done is just made a little BR, BR tag right there within each LI for the date. You can see there's a date underneath each one. So that comes after the BR tag. Then finally, if we move along to the right, you can see there's a little About Us section on the right. So that's the last UL. And uh, we've got a H4 saying About Us. Then we've just got two LI tags to represent each one of these little paragraphs right here. So copied and pasted that in there. All right, so underneath that little section, we've got this line. And then if we go over to the left, you can see there's a little copyright message right there. So what I've done is just create within the footer again, a div with an ID of copyright. Then I've done the little uh, code for the copyright symbol. So that's gonna produce this little C here. If we zoom in, you'll be able to see that better. See that little copyright symbol? That's gonna produce it there. So it's an ampersand, then copy, then a semicolon. Then I've just written out the same here over here. Oh yeah, I've just changed the date. So then I've ended the wrapper div which is there, and then I've closed out the footer as well. Okay, so that is pretty much it for the HTML. The reason I've kind of moved quite swiftly in this tutorial is because I've already done a PSD2 HTML and CSS tutorial series on the past, and I don't really want to focus too much on writing the HTML code. You know, you should already be quite comfortable with that, but I did want to outline how I've done it so you can see I've done all the HTML first, and the idea is that the HTML is not going to change for the desktop, um, to the mobile so if we look at these designs you can see let me zoom out a little bit this content the HTML I've done is going to represent all this content but it's also going to represent in the same way all of this content so what we need to do is write our CSS and media queries to change the display of that HTML for mobiles and for different size devices in between okay so you can see that's why I've written all my uh, HTML first regardless of what CSS or what devices we're going to be building on, I've written it in such a way that it's going to be able to adapt to whatever via the CSS. Okay, so I know I've moved quickly. If you want to kind of just pause and look at it yourself, feel free, or maybe just pop back to the PSD2 HTML uh, playlist that I did where I go a little bit more slowly if you want to learn more about how to construct a HTML page. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to share, subscribe, and like, and I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial.